So, you want to make a car interior mesh material tutorial? Well, that was, that was, that was a mouthful. Hey guys, one by Touch by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back once again in Blender 2.9 EV. We're going to be making a thing today. You don't want to make a tutorial, that's not right. You want to make a material. Welcome to this video, ladies and gentlemen. This is literally all the material is. It's this, and it's literally three nodes. And two of the nodes are the same node. Hope you guys enjoyed this. No, I'm joking. Um, we're going to go ahead and open up a material, which is just the default material. It should just have a principal BSDF shader in here. Um, and then, of course, all these three things should not be connected. Now, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and hit Shift A. And we're going to search for a magic t texture. And we're going to gr grab that and put it right there. And we're going to plug this into the roughness. And we should have something like this, but it's gonna not not exactly like that. It's gonna probably be on one. I think this is by default on one. But I turn my depth to three, my scale to thirty, and my distortion to one. So it looks like this now, which that looks pretty good. But I just wasn't satisfied. So you know me. Um, I went ahead and I added a bump material, uh, bump node. Sorry. So that's Shift A, search, bump right there. Put that down. I have it on invert. And I have the strength set to 0.4 and the distance to 1. So if I plug this into the normal of the of the principal BSDF, um, you can see all I have to do now is just grab this magic material, hit Shift D to duplicate it, and then just move it down here, and then plug the color into the height. And now we have something that looks like this, which looks aw absolutely awesome. Now you can change the size of this. So if you want these little ball things to be smaller, you can change this to 20. But keep in mind. You also have to change the size of this magic material, the magic uh, uh, node. These two nodes have to be on the exact same values around. So it starts looking weird like that. So there we go. We can make those balls a little smaller, and we can also make them a little bigger if we bump it up to 100 for both of these. There we go. So we have that really, really fine kind of mesh looking thing, which is what, you know, some cars got this nice little mesh, you know. Yeah. Um, anyway, so I think it looks really good. I'm going to put that back on 50 for both of these. Actually, wait, was it on a 50? It was on, it was on, it was lower than that. It was on 30, wasn't it? Yeah, it was on 30. Uh, and now you can see we have this looking really good. The metallic is on 0.8. Might as well just bump it up. 0.8. Specular all the way up. Specular tint all the way up, even though we really don't need that, to be honest. So I might as well just turn it down. And then everything else is zeroed out. Um, looks really good. I really like this material a lot. It's very, very, very simple. Without it being inverted, it looks like this. So it just kind of looks like it's like indented instead of popping out. So I just like that much better, you know, because um, it looks like it's popping out instead of going in like that so uh, I was just yeah I just wanted to mention that real quick that is very very cool and as you can see if I move on over here we have that nice little thing looks like a like a, a, a panel of a car or something and and that's a nice nice little nice little nice little simple easy like probably the easiest material we've ever made and it looks good that's the crazy thing it's literally technically two nodes because these two are the same nodes, so it's literally two nodes, which is just absolutely crazy. Um, but yeah, I hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's tutorial. That is it for today. I will see you in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.